On June 26, 2003, Cameroonian footballer Mark Vivian Fo collapsed during a match between Cameroon and Colombia at the Guerlain Stadium in Lyon, France. Despite efforts to revive him, he was pronounced dead shortly after being taken off the field. Fo's death was a shock to the football world, and the cause of his death has remained a mystery to this day. At the time, Fo was playing for Olympique Lyonnais in France and was on loan to Cameroon for the 2003 Confederations Cup. He had been a vital player for Cameroon in the tournament, scoring two goals and helping his team reach the final. In the match against Colombia, Fo collapsed in the 72nd minute without any apparent contact with another player or any indication of a foul. The autopsy report initially attributed Fo's death to a heart attack, but subsequent investigations have cast doubt on this conclusion. In 2004, the French newspaper Le Monde reported that Fo's body had been kept in a French morgue for 12 hours before being sent back to Cameroon. This delay in transporting the body raised suspicions that the autopsy report may have been altered to cover up the true cause of death. In 2013, a documentary titled The Death of Fo was released, which explored the circumstances surrounding Fo's death and raised new questions about the official investigation. The documentary suggested that Fo may have been taking performance-enhancing drugs, which could have contributed to his death. It also suggested that there may have been a cover-up by the French authorities to protect the interests of the football industry. To this day, the cause of Fo's death remains a mystery, and his family and fans continue to search for answers. In 2021, a statue was erected in his memory in Cameroon, and his legacy as one of the country's greatest footballers lives on. The disappearance of Mark Vivian Fo is a tragic and mysterious event that continues to capture the attention of football fans around the world. Despite the passage of time, the quest for answers and the desire to understand what really happened on that fateful day in Lyon remains strong. Fo's body was flown back to Cameroon, where a state funeral was held in his honor. Thousands of people attended, including government officials and soccer players from around the world. His death was a major blow to the country, which had been preparing to host the 2004 African Cup of Nations. In the end, the tournament was held in Tunisia. The cause of Fo's death was determined to be hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a heart condition that can cause sudden cardiac arrest. However, some people still believe that there was foul play involved. They point to the fact that Fo collapsed just a few minutes after leaving the field, and that he had not shown any signs of illness or distress during the game. There have also been rumors that he may have been the victim of a curse. In Cameroon, it is not uncommon for people to believe in the power of black magic, and there have been other instances of athletes being cursed by their opponents. However, there is no evidence to suggest that Fo's death was anything other than a tragic accident. In the years since Fo's death, his memory has been kept alive by his family, friends, and fans. In 2004, the Mark Vivian Fo Foundation was established to promote health education and to support young athletes in Cameroon. In 2013, a statue of Fo was unveiled in front of the Stade de Guerland in Lyon, France, where he had played for two seasons. The legacy of Mark Vivian Fo serves as a reminder of the fragility of life, and of the power of sports to unite people across cultures and borders. His untimely death was a tragedy not only for his family and friends, but for the entire soccer community. As we remember Fo and his contributions to the sport, we also honor his spirit of determination, courage, and sportsmanship. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and support. Thank you for watching this video.